His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered condolences and consolation over the victims of the Paris attacks that targeted Paris on Friday night and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Majesty the King expressed the Kingdom's strong condemnation and denunciation of such terror attacks, offering the warmest condolences to the families of the victims and wished the wounded speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad asserted that such a criminal act contravenes all divine religions and human values, expressing Bahrain's solidarity with the friendly people of France during such a difficult time and support for all measures it takes to combat and eradicate terrorism. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's unwavering support to the international community's efforts to fight terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered sincere condolences and consolation over the victims of the terror attacks that targeted Paris on Friday and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed the Kingdom's solidarity with the French government and the families of the victims wishing the wounded quick recovery. His Royal Highness reiterated his condemnation of such terror attacks which he said targeted the innocent civilians and contravenes all human values. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to his French counterpart, Manuel Valls. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered profound condolences and consolation over the victims of the terror attacks that targeted Paris on Friday and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reiterated his strong condemnation of such terror attacks targeting the innocent civilians, wishing the wounded speedy recovery. And the Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the terror attacks that rocked the French capital Paris, leaving many dead and injured among the innocent victims. In a statement, the Kingdom offered sincere condolences and consolation to the Republic of France, its people and families of the victims, wishing swift recovery for those injured as a result of the heinous terrorism acts that contravene all religious teachings and faiths, as well as the human values and ethics. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterated its solidarity with the Republic of France and backed all the measures to be taken by France to liberate the hostages, bring the perpetrators to justice and consolidate security and stability across its territories. The Kingdom reaffirmed its firm stance in denouncing all forms of terrorism uh, regardless of the motives, justifications, or those Under who stand the patronage behind of the it. President of the Supreme Health Council, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Al Rashid Group organized the annual Beat Diabetes Walk on Saturday. Today, the event aims to spread awareness on the disease, which is widely prevalent in Bahrain and the GCC. More details in this report with our reporter Mohammed Chaban. Over 3,000 people showed up at the Beat Diabetes Walkathon at Dohat Arad in Muharraq on Saturday evening. The event is held in Bahrain for the seventh time, and it marks the World Diabetes Awareness Day, which is celebrated on the 14th of November of every year. I think it's a great way for the community to get together. Uh, it's for a fantastic cause. Um, people need to be aware of the signs and symptoms. Uh, a small, tiny island nation of Bahrain we're in the top 10 for diabetes. Uh, we have a problem with obesity uh, within the GCC itself, and diabetes and obesity are very much linked. So it's a good, it's a great cause, and people can come and get their blood sugars tested, uh, play educational games, and, and walk for charity. The event involved a three kilometer walk along with a number of health and family oriented activities. Different local and global medical and fitness companies were present with the aim of increasing awareness of the disease and the importance of observing a healthy lifestyle. Uh, we are a part of uh, the event by giving awareness booklets and doing a free medical checkup, for example, uh, blood, sugar, uh, blood sugar tests for the uh, public. Plus, we also give kind of advice. We have some doctors who give uh, advices. Exercise is very important to be diabetes. And this walk takes place once a year. We hope people walk more often. In our office, we have a, you know, every Monday walk kind of program. People go walk. So it's very important that you come and exercise. The uh, whole purpose of this event is to understand that by exercising, you can control and, and take care of uh, diabetes. 
An estimated 387 million people live with diabetes, and by 2035, the number is expected to rise to 592 million. The six GCC countries are among the top 15 nations in the world with the highest prevalence of the disease. Bahrainis and expats alike of different age groups and professional backgrounds convened here today in support of diabetics everywhere, spreading the message of awareness and health. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.